one of the things I've learned, um, which I've shared is apparently it breaks down into three. Some would even say four. There's a fear that if you don't let them know what the history is, what the first generation went through, they might assume that life is like that. Mm. Life is so rosy. Life is so <laughs> rosy. Mm, I think we, the generations hold it to the ones coming to pass down knowledge, to ah, pass down wisdom, to ah, pass down stories, yeah. you know, and all of that. Yeah. So I think it would really start from us as parents, you know, be intentional about handing them those informations. I mean, they're privileged to... Um, certain knowledge about yeah. the struggles yeah. of their grandfather, yes, yes. you know, you know the struggles of their dad, yeah. and then they can then build up from there to say, okay, I don't want this. I, it's important that children, of course, understand the value of money and the value of what they have. And at least to the best of my knowledge, we're trying as much as possible to let them understand that, even though they are in, they are still quite young. Do you believe so, that hardship builds you and make you actually stronger? In does surviving it really in life? build you? Do you really have to go through hardship to be stronger? I don't think so. You don't have to go through hardship to be stronger. I don't really think that is necessary. Balls you harder, no but not scaring way. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back. Um, this is Confessions with PLA in the box. <laughs> um, and I have with me probably the best thing that has happened since sliced bread. <laughs> and even a diggy bread. And Mimi's roll. Um, mm. The sweetest, finest. My confession box <laughs> herself. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hi. Ah, how are Miss Titi Lockwood. Anyway, I'm good, man. How, how are you? I'm doing well. Yeah, man. How do you cope with all these uh, fast that they just call any? You'll be calling fast any on top of us. No, but fast is good though. I know it's it good. It helps your body. Yeah, I mean that's why it sometimes I'll be. You. Those I'll be are even this is even me so confess. Let's pray first before we confess. <laughs> Father, we have come before you. You says if we confess our sins, you are able and just to forgive all our righteousness. Father, we are asking, oh God, as we speak here today, and for those who are watching, Lord, please give us the grace to be able to confess and give us an understanding that would move us closer to you. Thank you for all those who have been watching, liking, sharing. Lord, as they do more and subscribe, Father, let their life be full with these conscriptions of your blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Almighty God. Amen. In Jesus' precious mighty name, we've prayed. Amen. Amen. No, sometimes when they call the fast. Who is the this? Pastor. Did you that first fast? Well, thing? calm down now. I know if you just pull out like what. Let's I don't, be I can't go spirit. directly and be attacking eh. my boss and my father. <laughs> so, ha. let's leave it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's day. It's Trinity now. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> yeah, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm. Move your mic closer. I think they want to hear you. Just, you know, drag it closer, pull it in. Don't worry, it doesn't bite. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, I think me even moving the mic closer makes my voice even sounds deeper and nicer than it is in real life. But it's okay. Now, when they call those fast, they, God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and of course, message to their son, Daddy Gio. Um, as a pastor, it doesn't actually allow me to just call fast for the church anyhow, because I know mm -hmm. that the bosses are coming with their fast. Um, so that church members will now be fainting. Because if I had my own, we won't eat in that church forever. Well, we do a lot of fasting. Fasting is good, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is fasting good. Fasting is good. Yeah, it actually cleanses you. It also lets you see yeah, clearer. Yeah, Yeah, it, it fixes a lot of things, actually, spiritually. And then too. spiritually. Yeah, your, your spiritual man also. actually grows stronger. Mm -hmm. All these mm -hmm. ones that, you know, we went to one nation whose name I won't mention. And there was one Monday, he just kept eating. And he knew all the food joints before we called it <laughs> and the names of all the joints. But we are in a system that... um plans things and it's like you know mm -hmm. our you know fasting is planned into mm -hmm. our lives whether we like mm -hmm. it or not mm -hmm. um how has that actually helped you because i've realized that by experiencing this system 
it's actually made me learn how to plan my yes, own life. Yes, you're better. right. So, but then, yeah, so what did you gain from this whole RCCG system? The planning bit? Yeah. Um, hmm. Like you said, I think when you plan, it, it sort of gives your life a, a focus. Mm -hmm. You are not just doing it as it comes. Planning is extremely important because it just lets you know, it helps you to get your activities done and, it, and you're also able to measure the success of the things that you're doing. All right, here's the confession bit. Planned. Check this out. Did you have a plan for what you wanted your wedding to be like? Oh, yes, I did. Uh, I think every girl does. Okay, okay. Yes, you have a picture did, of what you want. Okay, so did what you order meet what was delivered? Demand I ordered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, careful. If I attack you there. No, no, okay, no. But, <laughs> not the man you ordered, but your whole, your whole wedding, the whole thing. Okay. You didn't meet what you had um, planned in your mind. Yes, to an Ruth extent. I know she not going to get this you pack. Know, I only have one full family pack. <laughs> As of the wedding. I love it like that. It's fun. So, you, you know, the, the truth hey, is... Wait. Confession of Fuenia, man. For all you brothers with a full family pack. There they, is hope. There is hope, man. There is hope. <laughs> Keep going. But try and lose the weight at some point. It, it helps in another area. Hmm. Anyway, go on. Mm -hmm. Confession. Anyway. Yeah, go on. Um, so, oh my God. You As have let me lose my life. If you lose weight dogs. somewhere, other places grow. <laughs> anyway, uh, go on. <laughs> yeah, so your wedding. <laughs> yeah, so you know when you, when a wedding is happening, yeah, everybody really tries to have their own dream come true. Well, I won't quote, won't. <laughs> oh. the family, okay. the the mom has yeah. a plan, yeah, the father has a plan, yeah. the in laws have their plan. Everybody just wants a bit of what they would like in the wedding. So even some so, of the things that didn't happen in their own wedding, they won't, now that they have the opportunity to plan someone else's yeah, wedding, it's, it's they want to make it it's happen. It's possible. Ah. It's possible. So that's why we also advise couples to know that, you know, you are your, the wedding day might not really be for you, per mm -hmm. se. Except you are the one paying for the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, you are also doing things to cater for extended family yeah. and friends. Yeah. So it's not necessarily what you want. Some people want to go and do destination wedding, you know, and the family is saying you can't do that because a number, a huge number of the other family members will not be represented and we don't want that. Yeah. So you need to understand that such is activities your, is your honeymoon that will be destination yeah, so if, not if the you wedding you can have the honeymoon ha be destination you have the rest of your life to yeah to, to go, go to, wherever you want to go to. Renew vows somewhere yeah, else so you have to be quite meaning. considerate of okay. of those um things as well so again the idea that you had in your mind of mm -hmm. what your wedding would be like mm. did that meet the actuality but you know that i wanted a small wedding yeah, I, I wanted something quite How private. Many people? 25 people, no, maybe about 100 people. How that one small for this? That uh, was the tight of this night. This I country got, we were doing, we did not get to my I wanted anymore. the tight of my wedding. You wanted the tight of your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> we had, a, we had, nah, we had a number. Now. I see now. You were we like 2,500 at your reception, so. right? Yeah, I man. think so, pretty much. Yeah, that's a congress. So obviously, I don't know the reception. A congress, <laughs> that yeah. So obviously, that was a pretty large. I didn't even ceremony. know who came, who didn't come. It was through the pictures that you know we are looking at further down the line. Like, oh yes. yeah, so these people were here. Even some people that I didn't like came for my wedding. I'm just being honest. They even wore shirt myself. The people that never given me anything before in my life came to the wedding. And that's the gift now. They bought clothes for your wedding. Now my clothes. Am I into textiles? <laughs> <laughs> Is that money? <laughs> they bought fabrics for themselves for your wedding. Nah. That's a lot. Nah. Okay. Um. Mm. So one of the things I learned from this system is planning. Um. And I realized that if you actually really want to be successful in life, you have to be good with your planning. Yes. Um, the Bible says that um, he who is about to build the house. must first check from beginning to mm. the end. Have an understanding of, okay, what can I do? What can I not do? Um, I, I give it to our friends across the oceans or across the many lands. If you're going up not to Europe, um, they always build for efficiency and the possibility of upgrading whatever is currently built. Um, so which means I might have the land now. Mm. My idea is to have a two-story building on it, all three, 
but right now I can only afford that yes. one level. Yes. So. Um, Americans would even go and do a basement so that mm. they don't waste the floor below mm. their below, <laughs> below their house, um, which you know for their own reasons, yeah. Uh, and I think even in Japan or certain areas in in, um, in Asia as well, you have those basements and and stuff. Maybe because of what times or whatever. Mm. Anyway, um, but Dev, this system that I'm in has actually helped me with planning, planning on how to pack your bags when you're traveling the military roles, having multiple toothbrushes, toothpastes, multiple toilet bags, and all of that stuff. So in any split second you have to go, you move. Like, yeah. It even helped me with this traffic on our amazing expressway that, has, that is nothing but express. Um, mm. <laughs> as in not fast, in case you don't get that joke. <laughs> So that when you're going out, you have water in the car. Yes, you prep. Um, yeah, you if prep. You, need food, you bring your snacks, food, snacks food. along, wipes, uh, tissue, face tissue, regular tissue, because you don't know where you would be and how long the journey might be. In car chargers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. you know, that can charge multiple things, fast chargers, slow chargers. Um, it remains for myself that we'll be carrying extra fuel along. Ah. The wise virgin, yeah, man. Wise virgin. <laughs> anyway, um, but I see where they have a program coming up in August, but they've planned it from yes. September the year before, yes, so. at least the skeleton of it. Um, they have something coming up in December, but they're planning it way before that time. And, and in the preparation going into it, cleaning of house, fumigations, yes. water, you know, everything, road maintenance. Um, it changes one's mind to how to succeed mm. Mm -hmm. because mm. now i walk by schedule so nothing mm. kind of throws me off mm -hmm. and then you cooking and all of that sweet stuff mm -hmm. i think you're even breaking it down into a formula now where mm. your recipes are already pre-stored and all mm. of that what will you do differently going or confession how did you even get how many mess ups did you have before you go into planning proper uh, well, for for business? For everything. <laughs> business, dealing with your amazing husband, uh, being an amazing wife. Because wedding day, not just one day like that. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Any mess ups? Anything you want to confess? Um. Yeah, definitely. For business, for instance. Okay. I mean, um, I think doing business in Nigeria is obviously a different ballgame. Exactly. But I think that I've... I've had a situation where traffic held the delivery to the point that the event food. actually finished. <gasps> mm -hmm. Who now had the food? The we had to give it to so the was it the person that ordered? Yeah. Actually waited to collect it, so we just gave them. Oh. It that's, was I want a hardcore, but that man hardcore. Yeah, but that must have been that, ah, that must have been tough for you Super though on the, on the business side, man, yeah, because yeah. they would have blacklisted you. Yes. Word of mouth blacklist you. Social no, media no, no, blacklist no, no, you. Cancel no. culture. Well, thank cancel God. You. No, they were they were actually quite understand because they, they. I mean, everyone was on track. There was no way anywhere to get to that event. So obviously, what that taught me was. I think that was one of the reasons why I had to get a store in Lagos. Okay, as a backup. So that if I am doing something that is going to was the mainland yeah. or island, yeah. I have a backup. Okay, for, so so for those who don't it. understand mainland and island, because obviously this is across the world. Mm. In Nigeria, the rich people live on the mainland <laughs> and the poor people live on the island. Who um, said that? Don't you? Well, really? those who live... On the no, mainland, no, some people just live on the mainland and some live on the island. Okay, yeah, let's put it's it that It's not way. rich and poor. Okay, well, okay. It's so not a rich and poor situation. It's not a rich and poor situation because there's some really, really rich people living on the mainland. But just saying. Just, some people just prefer to live in, a set, in certain places. I think they assume that the people with the highest uh, disposable income mm. live on the island. So um, everybody wants to, but see your own logic there that you put a store on the mainland for ease of business one two, then you can reach everybody yes, from the mainland. the mainland. Yeah. So 
Yeah. So you put the you put the the joint. I mean, that taught you a lesson to actually plan that. Okay, yes, exactly. I have a spot on the mainland um, mm-hmm. that can cater for all of that area, mm-hmm. and then another one at your HQ at your mm-hmm. own base that can cater for anything happening on this end. So mm-hmm. once you see that, okay, you might not want to happen like that. So when how did you what did you do planning wise to be able to cope with marrying such an amazing busy guy? I mean, half of the time, at some point, it's only at home one week a month. How do you mm. cope with that? Man? I think, so for me, I think one of the things that I do, which I'm sure you would notice is, I try to plan my free time to the time that you're also available. Okay. So that at least I can spend as much time oh. and then maximize whatever time I have left when you're not there as well. Okay, so you so, get busy when I'm not there so you won't miss me as much. <laughs> I think it's part of the plan, actually. Oh, oh okay. All right, all right. <laughs> I see you. So, but then, of course, um, being able to cope is you really planning your time. Also, um, maximizing for you, especially maximizing the time that I have with you okay. to do whatever it is that we both love to do. Okay. It's, you know, it helps to be able to cope. So, with I have that. a question. How come? And you know, you uh, know. So, how do you, how do you manage when I am not? How do you, how, what do you do? I just blank it out. <laughs> because if I do, I will start crying. No, <laughs> honestly, I, I will start crying. That's why sometimes <laughs> I even try not to call safe if possible because I just get emotional. Yeah, I mean, like one of the recent yeah, trips, crying. right? Yeah, one of the yeah, recent trips, as I was doing the video call, I saw one of the seeds in the corner crying as I was about to sign off. And I said, I'm going to give her the phone. What's wrong? And, and like, okay, I'll try to bribe her. As they grew older, they became better. I was trying to bribe her. Like, what should I bring back for you? She goes, don't bring anything back. You just make sure you make it back home. I just Aww. want you to come back. Yeah, so it is things like that can actually make you almost cry and you are in public standing you know you're supposed to be doing that guy you are behind daddy you and all of that and then they just see one grown guy just crying they might think it's anointing <laughs> <laughs> not knowing that yeah, that's home. exactly yeah. and they can't say and this is even dangerous because the kind of boss i have you can say oh, yeah jump on the next flight go home since you are here all crying and everything <laughs> and all of that stuff and then come back he, he actually did that to um not that he cried but he actually did that to one of our members and goes ah, it seems you haven't seen your wife for like two three weeks now you know it's been back to back go home mm-hmm. kind of stuff but there's is an expense when you don't plan certain things yes because that guy's ticket was off the roof when we mm-hmm. had to pay for it um but if you plan ahead um, things actually work out cheaper. Yes, yes. You know, because yes. We, we're doing, we're doing, uh, working with a youth farm right now and we bought fuel for diesel in bulk way in advance before... Um, the hike. Even right. before that time. You know, oh. all sorts don't happen in this our great nation. Before Ukraine-Russia war, we don't book fuel down at a certain price. Mm-hmm. When they came in, it doubled. Mm. As in when they came with their war, it doubled. And then now that subsidy has been removed. Mm. It's even worse. I just thought about that, man. I don't want them to remove you from my life. May they not subsidize you because I'm doing just fine with you <laughs> inside of it. Um, but as a young person Aww. in this great nation and across the world, wherever people might be listening and watching, um, what are the two things you would advise them to do when it comes to planning? Oh, are you asking me? I'm asking you. What are the th- Okay, so for planning, I think looking at your life, because different things work for different people. True. The way that you plan your life would might not work for someone that has a regular nine to five yeah. or someone that runs their company. So I think first understanding yourself and what your kind of pattern is very is going to make it successful. Well, some people are very annoying now. They know they have to do something and then you know they're not calling you last minute. Uh, uh, hello, sir. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm like, okay, you know this thing before now. Why are you now calling me at 10 30, 11 so that's 30? The thing because, because in my own plan, plan of life, I don't pick calls after nine intentionally. <laughs> so, when some when people don't plan, it, it can turn into some sort of uh, um, chaotic situation, okay, whereby you're now rushing to do things that you could have done properly. So, I think first understanding yourself. And what works for you. So, for instance, I have a quick example for mm-hmm. that. Someone that, for some people, yeah. um, you know, you work nine to five. Yeah. 
So obviously your mornings can be very busy. Yeah. I've had people say to me they do their devotions at night or yeah. just before they sleep. So they do no, their I don't like that one. Knowing that oh, is it the devotion for the next day or the devotion for that day is being done at night? The devotion for the next day. They do it at night. Yes. Oh, that's good. That's clear. So that so way that's a good one. They because even with their, their dream self will be around that devotion. <laughs> so that way they you know they are that's a good one. They are yeah. chilled, they you know, they are not rushing. Bible actually says that uh, uh, that your dream would be in accordance mm. to the activities, the multitudes of activities the day before. Mm. Um we'll post up the Bible reference uh, mm. for those who are, you know, all like where did he say that? Anyway. Um but I mean there was one time like this that one person I saw one of your friends walking across in my dream and i called her that if next time i see you in my dream i will flog you because there's nothing you are doing inside there i mean it can't be my friend it's one i don't friends. have him less friends that be walking hey, across your hey, dreams <laughs> it's actually well, our mutual friend actually <laughs> to be fair but i told her and thank god she's probably watching that if i see you in my dream again i will flog you i will come inside there to me to i'll flog you out because we don't even get to sleep enough what are you now doing walking around in the dream <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, um, so but your see, advice. I have a joke oh. that I used to make. I said that when they blow the trumpet, when the trumpet sounds, mm. the angel will have to blow it the second time for Nigerian women. Because they will assume that first time is a warning. That go and get your bag now. Go and quickly do makeup. Go and get ready. And then I'll blow it again <laughs> and go. I'm actually blowing it now. Why Nigerian women? Why are you picking on Nigerian women? Mm, you don't know how to get Nigerian ready now. Women. You really? Know, yes. How many of them? You know it's going you? to happen, but you plan absolutely not to want to go at that time. You now see men that are not lying, telling you that uh, the the takeoff time is is two o'clock. Do I get ready in time? <laughs> because now I know where you are going. <laughs> <laughs> Just come direct. Stop trying to sugar coat the tea. I said, Nigeria women. <laughs> See you at the next confession. <laughs> come ready to confess. Oh my God.